Uh, so what we're going to be covering is the tubes first. So um, what's new about them is the fact uh, in the previous versions, when you wanted to create some tubes, you typically had to create a new part number for every tube, even though they were the same length uh, or different lengths, you had to create a new part number. Uh, this one allows you to have one tube that with the same part number, so you can have just an item off the shelf in varying lengths in your bill of material. Uh, and we'll show you uh, that last, uh, how, to, how to control that in your draft. Uh, tubes can be placed with fittings, which is a really nice little benefit. <clears throat> Again, these can be stored as an assembly, uh, brought in, of course, it has a part number, and the tubes can just be adjusted based off of where the fittings go. Uh, and uh, lastly is the new path routing command. Uh, before, I used to have to kind of use some uh, snap tools and create the path location as you're routing your tubing. Now you can just kind of kind of create the path anywhere you like, then just go snap it to whatever location, uh, grommets or um, hold downs uh, for your cables and wires and path and uh, tubing. All right, so let's uh, take a look at this. All right, so we've got a couple uh, tubes in here already uh, with their uh, fittings connected, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, so we're going to do something with these. We're going to go ahead and grab another one. Grab this adjustable tube, just pop it right here. It's got some uh, predefined features already on it, so we're just going to use uh, the captured in information, and we'll pop this one over here and place it. And, of course, you can see it, it places it. It's It's intelligent but it's you know it's not a genius yet so you know it does the best it can because the fitting is in the wrong orientation uh so it'll it'll adjust that so if we just come over here and rotate that around it'll it'll do some adjustments for you there we go uh but we still kind of skewed out of place so that's not a big deal uh we can go in there quickly easily and move that into the correct location so Couple ways to do it, and you can uh, go up it to the tools right into it, or I can just go into the into that tube itself and just say edit. That'll take me into the express route where most of the work is done, uh, creating your paths. So we're just going to go ahead and grab that path location instead of the tube itself and modify that. And we've had this tool for a while. This little coordinate system, how it works. You kind of move it wherever you want, and get it out of the way if it is uh, following following falling on the geometry. So we can use a plane or an axis. Uh, so we're just going to planarly move this one. So I'm just going to snap to that plane and tell it to kind of drag back this way. Get it in the ballpark. That looks pretty good. Then using our new view cube in the lower right-hand corner position, I'm just going to axial pick that and just pick that same axis for key point and just snap that and drag that relatively close. And that looks pretty good. All right, so we have that as our placement method. <clears throat> So now that will actually move. So since these are all adjustable tubes, they're all varying lengths, uh, and they're all come from the same part number. So uh, if I want to take this and just kind of drag it around, no. I just I just suppress the relationships for those to stay with it. Sorry about that. So we do that. So you can move it any orientation you want. Uh, you'll get the uh, tubes to adjust and move and snap to where they need to be. All right, so and uh, another part placement method is if you have the non-adjustable type. So if I drag this in, you're going to get the same type of scenario. So if I'm just going to say use that to that, uh, this is a fixed length tube. So if I just tell it to go over here, you're going to get a failure. Uh, you can go into that part right now anytime you want and make it an adjustable part. And what 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 makes parts come in adjustable like that first one did uh, there's a setting new to Solid Edge. <clears throat> if I go ahead and open up its location and go to its setting options and look for the assembly one, and you'll see we have this place assembly as adjustable, and of course places tube in the assembly as adjustable, and then the assembly is placed into another assembly. Uh, so you can just make this adjustable down the line. Uh, so if it needs to be moved by another assembly, it's still going to be adjustable no matter what. All right, so that 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 is new for this version.